fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! Come Silver! Hooray! It was about half an hour after sunset when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up in front of a small one-room house. Oh, Silver, oh, Scout. Oh, fella. Right there, fella. There'll be water somewhere around here, Tonto. Uh, maybe in back of house. Oh, just a minute. Someone's coming out the front door. Hi there. Woman. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Box D Ranch. You looking for food, water, horse fodder, or information? <laughs> well, we stopped for water. For sakes alive... What's the mask for? Are you dodging the law? No, I... I don't uh, bother explaining. It's all right with me. Live and let live, I always say. I see. Uh, Dawson is my name, Kate Dawson. This ranch belongs to me and my boy. His name's Bob. Oh, I'm glad to know you, Mrs. Dawson. Uh, this is Tonto and I... Don't bother fibbing to me about your name, Slim. It ain't likely a man wearing a mask could give his right name. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> uh, came from north of here, didn't you? Yes. Well, I sure hope you and Tonto are hungry enough to step inside my kitchen. Let me wrestle up some grub. I declare it's so seldom I get the chance to talk to someone, I get downright lonesome. Well, I guess this trail isn't used very much. Hardly anyone comes past here. My boy, Bob, he used to talk to me, but since he fell in love, he ain't worth the time for talking. <laughs> uh, you'll stop long enough to eat, won't you? Well, uh, aren't you afraid to invite a masked man into your home? Really? I'm afraid of what? That mask might hide your face, but it don't hide your eyes. I can see them and have good eyes. Thank you. Is your son around? Bob? No, he's gone to call on Peggy Martin. She's the girl he's fallen in love with. Oh, I see. Her pawn's the biggest ranch in this part of the country. I've heard of the Martin Ranch. Yes, I guess everyone's heard about it. I'm afraid Bob's got no chance with Miss Peggy. Oh, that's too bad. Her pa's said again, my boy, and so's Lenny Tilson. I reckon Tilson aims to marry Miss Peggy, if he can. Uh, who's Tilson? He's the top hand over at the Martin Ranch. He'll do everything to spoil Bob's chances. I see. But come on inside the house and let me get some food. I'll tell you some more about my boy. <laughs> Hold on, 
down there, Dawson. Rain up. Oh, boy. Easy. Go down. Where do you think you're going? This here's the Martin Range. Silson, I aim to call on Miss Peggy. You're not calling on Miss Peggy tonight. Or any other night. Take your hand off that bridle, Tilson. Miss Peggy don't want to see you. She's expecting me. Now stand aside. Listen, Dawson, I got my orders from the old man himself. He told me to stand watch on that path and tell you that you weren't wanted around the house. Martin said that? Yeah, Martin said that. And Miss Peggy said the same thing. Now be smart and go on back to that two-bit outfit of yours and stay there. I don't believe you. You don't, eh? No. Maybe you'll believe Miss Peggy if she tells you she don't want to see you no more. If she tells me anything like that, it'll be because of some lie you told her. And maybe you better read this note. It's in Miss Peggy's own handwriting. I reckon you'll know that it's genuine. Uh, a note? Yeah. I... I'll go on and read it and then bear moose. Yeah. I'd like to know why Miss Peggy would write a note to me. Don't she say right there that she don't want you to call on her? How do you know? Did you read it? Miss Peggy read it to me. I don't savvy. <laughs> she makes it clear enough. She she says I'll understand the reason she doesn't want to see me again. Yeah. She's learned a few things about you. The only reason I know of is that you've been telling her and her father a pack of lies. Tilson, if I could be sure, oh, then I'd break... save your breath. You've got Miss Peggy's word. Now clear out and consider yourself lucky he ain't jailed as a thief. A thief? That's right. Who says I'm a thief? Now, look, Dawson, I'm not here to argue the point with you. I was sent here to see that you don't go to the house and pester Miss Peggy. I'm not a thief, and you know it. If Peggy or her father think I'm crooked, it's because of your lies. Don't you call me a liar. You heard what I said. Are you ready to back it? Yeah. If you don't like what I said, go for your gun. Well, that suits me. Hold it. Huh? There'll be no gunplay. Mr. Martin. Boss, it's you. What's going on here? Dawson won't believe that he ain't wanted it to your house. Mr. Martin, I want to talk to you. What's this note from Peggy mean? It means exactly what it says. You're not wanted on my ranch. If you think I stole anything, you're crazy. Well, don't go into that. Well, I didn't. Then I didn't. how did Martin Cattle get on your ranch? Martin Cattle? On my ranch? Yeah, we saw it there. I don't know why you should look surprised, Dawson. You must have seen it. Why, I didn't. Is your outfit so big you don't know what you got inside your fence? It's not big, Tilson. A lot for me to handle without help. It's not only cattle. We missed a lot of things from the house. Mr. Martin, you I don't mean to... make a direct accusation, Dawson. All I know is that things are missing after every time you call. Now, I'll appreciate it if you'll just get off of this ranch and stay off. Is that clear enough? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Come around here again. You might go out on a rail instead of a horse. Get up, boy. I guess that's the last we'll see of him, Mr. Martin. Yes, I guess so. It's too bad he turned to stealing. Be a pretty good sort if he was honest. Hmm. I suppose we can't blame him too much. Got his mother support, and that Stovian ranch of his don't pay nothing to speak of. Maybe this will be a lesson to him. I hope so, for his ma's sake. There's no use of me watching the trail any longer, is he? No, I guess not, Tilson. Yeah, I'll go to the bunkhouse. Do what you're mind to. I'm going to the house. Bob Dawson rode slowly through the darkness toward his home. Smarting at the injustice of the charges against him, he was at a loss to know what he could tell his mother. He was lost in thought. He didn't notice the two horsemen who approached from the side until they were close enough to shout. Bring up there! Bring up! We want to talk to you. Oh, oh boy. Steady. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Chills. What do you want now? We want you. Get that rope on him, Jake. All right. Now, see here. Hold it, you're covered. Uh, this will hold right, it. Take that rope off of me. Tighten that loop, Jake. All right. Get up there. Here, hold him. I got him. Are you... Oh, his horse. Yeah, I let his horse go. Just keep that rope tight. Pull him clean off the cell. Yeah, I'll see if he's hurt. Oh, you... Yeah. Pull, Jeff. Ah, shut up, Dawson. Let me see if you got any broken bones. Uh, I'm all right. You know better than to slap your horse when there's a rope around your shoulders. You could bust your neck in a fall like that. Let me get up. Sure, go ahead. <sighs> What's the idea, Tilson? Why did you and Jake rope me? You find out. Finish tying them, Jake. Bob 
Bob Dawson's horse kept going along the familiar trail to the box D. Kate, Tonto, and the Lone Ranger heard the hoofbeats stop at the corral. Kate hurried from the house ahead of the masked man and Tonto. Bob, hurry into the house. We got company. Bob, where are you? Now, don't play tricks on me, son. Where you at? Wasn't that your son who rode in, Mrs. Dawson? I, I don't know. This is Bob's horse, but there's no sign of Bob. Uh, Bob, not here? Doesn't seem to be, Toto. Just a minute. <laughs> Get that boy, easy. What are you doing? The saddle is cold. This horse came here without a rider. Then where's Bob? Um, maybe him fall. Oh, not Bob. Never fell from a horse in his life. Something's happened to him. Lenny Tilson's done something to Bob. We'd better settle up, Toto. Ah. Oh, don't go away now. Stay here while I ride the back trail and see what's happened to my boy. You stay here, Mrs. Dawson. Toto and I will ride the back trail. <laughs> Peggy Martin sat near the window, looking out across her father's moonlit ranch. Martin finally spoke to break a long silence. I know how you feel, Peggy. It's hard to believe that Bob Dawson's a thief. Oh, Dad, if you'd just let me talk to him... That wouldn't change things. I, I can't believe he'd steal from us. I know. I felt the same way about the things we missed from the house after he'd been here. I thought it might have been the new cook or one of the cowhands. It might have been. Yeah. Tilson might have made a mistake in identifying the man he saw putting a silver box in his pocket. But there's no mistake about the cattle. I saw the cattle with my own eyes. My cattle inside of Dawson's fence. But even that, you got no proof that Bob put it there. Who else would put it there? Dad, listen to me. Hmm? Maybe somebody wanted to frame Bob Dawson. Oh, who'd want to do that? Lenny Tilson. What? Tilson? Yes. Now, Peggy, that's a downright foolish notion. Why would Tilson want to frame Bob Dawson? What good would it do him? Wasn't it Tilson who said he saw Bob picking up things here in the house? Yes, but... Uh... Wasn't it Tilson who first saw your cattle on Bob's ranch? Tilson's the top hand. No matter which one of the men saw the cattle, they'd report to Tilson he'd come to me with the news. Dad... What's Tilson to gain by making Bob out a thief? Listen to me, Dad. Tilson wants to marry me. What's that? It's true. I didn't tell you because I... Well, I was afraid you'd be angry with him. And he'd get mad. And... I won't tolerate Tilson thinking about marrying you. I'll tell him Please, so. Dad. I told you about him just so you'd realize he has reason to discredit Bob Dawson. Hmm. I wonder if young Dawson was free. Oh, Dad, I'm sure he was. Bob would never steal. Oh, oh. Dawson, I know that voice. Bob, it's you. Put the gun down. That bandana over your face don't fool us. Stay right where you are, Peggy. Martin, I came for the cash you keep in your desk. So. Oh, Bob. You really are a crook, huh? The cash, Martin, hurry. Unlock the desk. All right. It's worth what it'll cost to know the truth about you. Oh, Bob, you can't get away with this. Dad will have the law on you in no time. The law will have to catch me. You can never go back to your ranch. As long as I'm known as a thief, I'll get cash enough to make it worthwhile. Well, there's the cash. I wonder if you know what a bad bargain you've made. Even if the law never gets you. You've made a bad bargain. A mighty bad bargain. Don't tell me the kind of bargain I've made. I know all about it. Goodbye, Mr. Martin. Goodbye, Peggy. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Kate Dawson insisted on riding with the Lone Ranger and Tonto as they followed the back trail of Bob's horse to the Martin Ranch. They reached the line fence and followed it to the gate where they reined up. Oh, oh, oh there, oh. Oh, oh, There's a gate here. We might open it and go on to the house. A me open gate? Just a minute, Tonto. A couple of line riders are coming this way. Maybe they saw something above. Oh, 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 it's Tilson. He's the top man. I see. Hey there, Tilson. Yeah, Kate Dawson. Hey, is that man wearing a mask? We came to look for Bob Dawson. So he's taken up with masked men, huh? Gosh, Tilson, that's right in line, ain't it? Well, what are you talking about? Dawson's horse reached the box D with an empty saddle. You know anything about it, Tilson? Better go ask the old man about your friend. What happened to Bob? Where is he? Well, at the rate he was going, I judge he was about halfway to the border, wouldn't you, Tilson? Shut up, Jake. What's he mean by that? Miss Dawson, I don't like to be the one to tell you. You go talk to Mr. Martin and Miss Peggy. You believe them a lot quicker than you believe me. Tilson, if you know anything about Bob Dawson, we want to hear it. Who are you? He's a friend of mine. If you're dodging the law, you and Bob should get along first rate. What about Bob Dawson? All right, if you want the facts from me, I'll give them to you. He's being hunted by the law for stealing the payroll cash from Mr. Martin. That's an out-and-out lie. Oh, ask Martin. And he'll also tell you that Dawson stole one of the best horses for his getaway. Oh, Bob's no thief. You asked for the facts, I gave them to you. You can believe them or not, it don't matter to me. Do you mean to say Bob would turn thief? No one he'd have to go into hiding. No one he'd have to leave his ranch... And me? Now Martin had already found out he was a thief before he stole the payroll cash. He was caught with some of Martin's steers on his ranch. <sighs> Miss Peggy turned him down on account of it, you see. I reckon that must have made him sore enough to go whole hog and bust right into the house with a gun in his hand and a bandana over his face. I, I just can't believe it of Bob. Martin recognized his voice, so the bandana didn't do no good. Didn't anyone try to overtake him? Sure. Me and Jake took after him. But he picked the best horse in the corral for his escape. We saw we couldn't overtake him, so we came back here and sent one of the boys into town to report to the sheriff. He must have had a mighty fine horse to get away from that one you were riding. I told you he picked the best one in the outfit. How long ago did this happen? Just a little while ago. We just got back here. Uh-huh. Miss Dawson, if you want to talk to Martin, I'll open the gate. Well, I, I don't know. There's I... no use talking to him now. Well, I, I'd like to hear what he has to say... There must be a mistake. There's got to be a mistake. Come on, Mrs. Dawson. But, but I... Please. I'm downright sorry, ma'am. Don't you think there's any use talking to Martin? Well, perhaps later on, but not now. Come with me. Uh, whatever you say. Come on, Silver. Let's get him up to the council. The Lone Ranger led the way to a small thicket not far from the Martin Ranch. Here he reined up. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 there, oh. Why are we stopping here? Because I'm not satisfied with Tilson's story. Neither am I. Indeed, but... I don't know how much truth he told us, but I'm sure that at least one thing he said was not true. He, he said my boy was a thief. He also said that he'd ridden hard to try to overtake Bob. He said that he and Jake had just returned from the chase. Ah, and their horse, plenty fresh. That's it, Toto. Their horses hadn't just finished a hard run. Oh. They didn't look as if they'd been chasing anyone. Why did they say what they did? That's what I want to know. And that's what we're going to try to find out. Now, Kate, I want you to go back to your ranch. Oh, but there's nothing I can do there. I want to help my boy. Please. What are you going to do? Toto and I are going back to the Martin Ranch. You'll hear from us later. Later that same night, the Martin Ranch House was shrouded in darkness. In one of the large rooms, Martin himself slept fitfully. A soft breeze stirred the curtains on the open window. A silent form came through the window, paused a moment at the bedside, then struck a match to light a candle on the bedside table. Martin, wake up. Martin, wake up. 
Uh, what was the matter? Who's calling me? Don't raise your voice when you see me. No, uh, what? What? I, uh, mask! Keep your voice down. Who are you? What do you mean by coming in here like this? Do you know where Bob Dawson is? Dawson? Hey, Thunder, he's going further into crime than I thought. Got a masked partner, huh? Where do you think Dawson is right now? I don't know, and I don't care. He's on your ranch. What? Martin, he never left this ranch. He did, too. He left here two jumps ahead of my men. Did you see him right away? No, but I heard all about it. Pull on your boots, Martin. You're going with me. I don't know such thing. By thunder, Quiet, I... Quiet, I said. If you think you can get away with Believe this... Believe me, Martin. All I want is a chance to clear the name of Bob Dawson. <laughs> It'll take a heap of clearing. Not if you'll cooperate. It'll be a little harder if I have to tie and gag you and drag you out of here against your will. Uh, you do that? Get your boots on. <laughs> Golly, I reckon you would. Where do you want me to go? To a lion shack near the east boundary. Got no choice, have I? The choice of going willingly or unwillingly. All right, let me get dressed and I'll go with you. Bob Dawson sat on the edge of a bunk in the small line cabin. Tilson and Jake sat on boxes facing their prisoner. Their faces were hard and ruthless in the flickering candlelight. We're giving you a chance to get away with your life, Dawson. Don't be a fool and throw that chance away. Go on and write that letter to your ma. Just write her and say that you're in hiding and you'll get in touch with her later. That's all you gotta do. We'll see that she gets the letter. You take me for a fool, Tilson? A letter like that will be the same as a confession of my guilt. Your guilt's already so well established that the letter won't change things none. Uh-huh. And if I write the letter, how do I know you'll let me go? You've got to take our word for it. Your word? <laughs> now, here's one thing you can be sure of, Dawson. You won't live to see daybreak if you don't write it. You can't get away with murder, Tilson. You're not that smart. Murder? <laughs> Who'd call it Murder? Me and Jake find you in hiding with the cash you stole from Martin. Have to shoot you when you resist capture. Who is there that'd say that a murder had been done? Got it all figured out, huh? Yeah, that's right. We got it all figured out. Well, there's just one thing you overlooked. What's that? If you hand Martin a story of catching up with me in the stolen cash, you'll have to hand the cash over. You won't be able to keep oh. it. <laughs> that payroll cash don't mean anything. I'm after big stakes. Hey, I don't... Tilson. What's the matter? I heard something outside. Heard what? Sounded like a twig being stepped on. Might be one of the horses. Ah, we left them way over in the draw. I think someone's snooping on us. Stay here. Keep an eye on Dawson. I'll have a look. They seem to come from the back. Hold your gun ready. Dawson tries to yell a warning and part his hair with your gun sight. Nice, Savvy. You keep it quiet, Dawson. One peep out of you and I'll let you have it. Who's here? Get him up, Martin. All right, Tilson. Eavesdropping, huh? Seems to have been worthwhile. How long have you been at that window? Long enough to know that Dawson didn't escape. Uh-huh. Long enough to hear you threaten to kill him. Go on inside. Better put the gun down, Tilson. I said go on inside. We'll talk in there. Chances are you heard too much for your own good. I heard too much for your good. We'll see. What? What? It's Martin. Yeah. Mr. Martin. See if he's packing a gun, Jake. I'm not. I'll just make sure of that. You made a big mistake in coming here, Martin. A big mistake. I did? Yeah. As things stood, Bob Dawson was being hunted for robbery and horse stealing. Now we've got to fix things so as he'll be hunted for murder as well. Why, you dirty... Uh, Mr. Martin, I don't know how much you heard. These crooks held a gun on me. They made me go in and take that payroll cash. Hmm. They were right outside with guns held ready. If I hadn't taken the cash, they'd have shot you. And they'd have framed me for a murder. Looks like we'll still have to do that same... And Tilson and Jake planted your cattle on my ranch. They framed me all along the line. What do you hope to gain by all this, Tilson? With you out of the way, Miss Peggy's going to be all alone in the world. Leave my daughter out of this. Oh, but I can't do that, Martin. <laughs> I aim to make her my wife. Why, you... Hold it. Got a roll, Jake. Yeah, oh, that's the safest you... way. Door. One of the cowhands rode this way and saw the light. 
Watch these two. Who's there? Me here at window. What? What the? Oh, Redskin. The door. Stop it. I'll show you. Sorry. No. Here's another one. My arm. My arm's busted. This will stop the pain. No. Oh. There. That fixed him. Come around the door, Toto. Come in and see about their wounds. Well, it sure happened fast. Hold still, Dawson. I'll cut those ropes. Yeah, thanks. That mask. Who are you? Where'd you and the engine come from? Uh. Jake, look at Boone. I don't think either Jake or Tilson are badly hurt. I hope not. I want to see the skunks behind bars. You rapped on the door to get their attention, didn't you? Yes. There. Now you're free, Bob. Uh, and the engine covered him through the window. That's right. Gosh, Mr. Martin, we both owe our lives to these two. It's that masked man that brought me here. He did. He figured I'd learn the true facts if I'd let Tilson catch me eavesdropping. <laughs> and he sure was right. But... You know now that I'm not a thief? Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be mighty good news to Peggy. Akimasabi. Yes? These wound only scratch. And we can move on. Martin will take charge of Tilson and Jake. You bet I will. Then I want to have a long talk with you, Dawson. I'll need a new foreman. Maybe we could discuss a merger. <laughs> a couple of kinds of merger. Eh, hey, Bob? <laughs> hmm? Gee, I... <laughs> All right. I don't know where to start thanking you, masked man. You can thank your horse. He brought us when he came in with an empty saddle. Yeah, but you did Otto so much... and I simply repaid an obligation to your mother. Some more? Yes, Bob. You see, she gave us one of the finest meals we've ever had. <laughs> oh, I see. And she trusted me, Bob. Simply because she saw my eyes. In view of that, I knew she couldn't be wrong about her own son. If you'd been a thief, she would have known it. Adios. So long, mister. So long, Eddie. Get him up, just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.